grace, power, ministry, and love. Incline your ears to wisdom and your hearts to understanding. Receive the word of God according to knowledge. Welcome to preach. To preach. Be a voice, not an echo. Join Minister Chantrell for today's message. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. I am Minister Davis. Today is April the 7th of 2016, and it is 2.20 p.m. Central Time. I do appreciate you joining me today. I am going to begin with prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you that I'm alive for such a time as this. I thank you, Father, that your mercy is new to me this day. I thank you, Father, for your grace that is sufficient for this day. Father, I thank you that you are watchful over me. Father, I thank you that you are watchful over your word to perform it. I trust my life to the provision of your word. I trust my life to your life, your truth, your ways of living and being. Father, as I proceed forth doing what you've called me to do, Father, I thank you for the grace to do so, Father. I thank you that I do it in boldness and without timidity, Father, but with love, Father, and rightly dividing the word of truth according to your spirit, Father. I trust you. I need you in all things. I seek you in all things. I plead the blood of Jesus over my heart, my mind, my will, and my emotion, Father. Thy will be done. I thank you, Father. As I diminish, Father, I lift you up. Father, in the name of Jesus, every person who is listening to this today, tomorrow, or whenever they are listening to this, Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over their ears, Father. I thank you for cultivated ears and heart that are ready to hear the truth, Father, in the name of Jesus. I cast down spirits of imag wicked imagination, Father, and every high thing that exalts itself against your true knowledge, Father. I pray that they take this before you and all things before you, Father, and that they put on a listening ear, Father, that they incline their ears to wisdom and apply their heart to the understanding that is given them, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree that this word will go forth, unhindered and unchecked by any outside force, Father. I thank you that greater is he who is in me than he who is in this world, Father, and that no weapon formed against me of this ministry this day will prosper, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned. I thank you for your word of truth. I thank you for your word of life, Father. You are so faithful. You are so exalted, Lord. Be exalted for you are so worthy of praise. I bless you, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Today's is dreams and visions. Of course, um, I'm debating on if I'm going to do both of these in one or if I'm going to split them. Uh, I may split them, but I suppose we will figure it out by the end of it. Um, this first one I entitled simply taken through hell by an angel and shown a city targeted and uh to the best of my ability i would dissect this because sometimes dreams can be a little choppy um especially when the lord doesn't want you to remember particular things he's going to let you remember what you would because a right word in due season how good it is so he has a purpose for everything and there's a time and a season for every word uh that he gives in this dream i was i was on high alert had been on high alert for weeks oh my god still am i was taken up into the heavens by an angel i was flown flown through a city in my heart, and I'm praying, and I'm still praying, but I'm sure this city was Tennessee. I just recently moved here to Goodlessville, so I'm not very familiar with this city. I'm not familiar with every part of it, but you get used to landscapes when you see it, and the Lord will say it to you, or he will put understanding in your heart. Those of you who have had dreams from the Lord, you know this. He will audibly say it, or he will give you understanding. You will get clear understanding in your heart as he shows you these things. Um, and this is what I was getting is that this is Tennessee. And I was shown that two build, some buildings were targeted. And for some reason, I was taken over these cities, and it was buildings that looked kind of like 9-11. They weren't as tall, but what I mean by that is they were double buildings. They were buildings that looked identical to one another that were side by side in this city, but they were they were not as tall as 9-11. They were short, but they were side by side like those buildings. And in my heart, it was put that these buildings were targeted. And I heard that very clear. After the angel showed me this, um, he moved me from the spirit at, into a different part of the city. And I knew that this place was targeted. It, it was targeted, and it was going to be destructive. And I'm praying that it is Tennessee, but in my heart, I'm, 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 I'm about 100% sure it's Tennessee. But I was shown these two buildings that looked identical like the Twin Towers, but they were, if I had to guess the height of them, I would say maybe 15 stories. Um, and this is being shown from the air as I was flown past with the angel. And that's how I saw these buildings. And I, if I had to guess, I would say 15 to 17 stories, if that high. And they could have been a little less, but uh, they were side by side, and that's what I saw. But the amazing thing is after this, and I don't know if this is connected, if it's because some of the people that are going to die are going to go to hell. I'm not, I don't know. I, I bring these dreams before the Lord continually, and I 
warn as I should warn. And I want you to take these dreams before the Lord as, as always. Because sometimes he gives revelation through other brothers and sisters in Christ. And we come together because we are fitly joined together and we share. Uh, iron sharpens iron. We're stronger together. And he does this for a reason. It causes us to work together. Okay, after the Lord showed me this, the angel then, and this is the part that really rattles me, the angel then started flying. As I was up in the air, he aimed downward, and he started flying full speed, with holding my hand down toward the ground. And in my heart, I knew exactly where we were going. <laughs> and I did not want to go, so I tried to wake myself up. And I mean, y'all have got to know that you still have your, even in the spirit, you still have your soul, which means you have feelings, you're aware of what's going on. So I knew where we were going, I didn't want to go. He was going down in the hell, and I didn't want to go there. So I tried to wake myself up, but he did not allow me to wake myself up. I had dreams like that before, where he wouldn't let me wake myself up. And if I did, he put me, I went right back to sleep, and it started right back where it left off. I tried to wake myself up, but I wasn't allowed to. I was flown into the underworld. I was flown between fiery rocks and coal like a fissure that's been split open, and it was fiery and hot. I could hear screams and wailing as I came around this curve with the angel, and I was untouched. But you can't see this kind of stuff and still have a soul and emotion and not be affected by it. You know, my heart was breaking. I could see this as I was flown through. As I was flown through this cracked coals, I could hear the screams and wailing. I could see, I'm telling you, it looked like little cities under there that were broke down and foul looking and, 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 and lakes and, you know, hot, fiery things. And I could see masses of people. I could see demons. They were torturing these people. They were tormenting them like they were slaves. It was total chaos. There was hatred. There was turmoil. I, I could, it's like it's hard to explain because you can feel all this that they're feeling. While you're looking on in the soul, you feel the despair. But yet at the same time, you have a hurt and a welling for them because you have the spirit of God. So you are welling because this is not where the Lord wanted us to go. The Bible tells us hell has enlarged itself. The hell enlarged itself. It was not intended for us to go. But hell is enlarged in itself for the masses that will come and I saw uh, cruelty and there were spirits of people they were so hurt I mean it, w it was hatred I mean all of this stuff I felt hopelessness and cruelty and hatred why I could see these people being tormented they were being whipped they were being for forced to labor they weren't just chilling in the fire you know they were laboring and being tormented and it, it was just the most terrible feeling and as I was flown through this place I cried I was crying in the spirit, and this is, I'm telling you, it's a cry that can only come from the spirit of God. It is a wailing, and I was so hurt. Then the angel of the Lord took me back up and out, and I flew back up out of the ground with him, and the angel of the Lord put other things in my heart. He did. I, I can't remember, but he was saying things to me. And I'm very clear he was saying things, but I can't articulate them. And I could not tell you what they were for the life of me, but I know they were put. And a scripture came to mind. Thank you, Lord. It just came to mind that in the night, in the vision of the night up on the bed, the Lord hides pride from man and he seals his instruction. He will show you things, but it doesn't always mean you're going to reveal all of it right then. But I know he said a lot to me, uh, but in my waking uh, articulate tongue, I could not tell you. And, and that is in all sincerity. And it was at this point I awoke. And when I awoke, I was crying. I was crying when I woke up. And I, I just cried. And, and of course, I began to pray. And that's where the dream ended. Um, so this is another dream I want you to take before the Lord um, and pray about it. Because I'm going to do the other one separate. I, I'll try to keep these short. And I'm going to read Revelations 12 and 7. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought, and his angels fought. And that, that, that scripture right there is actually for the other dream, and you're going to see why when I read it. Uh, so do stay tuned, because I will be doing that dream next. Uh, Isaiah 5, 14 through 15. Therefore hell hath enlarged herself, and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory, and their multitude, and their uh, pomp, and, their, and he that rejoices shall descend into it. And the, mean, and, and the mean man shall be brought down, and the mighty man shall be humbled, and the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. And Joel 2 and 28 through 29. And, at this, and, in, and this time shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon handmaidens in those days will I pour out of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. 
Um, that is Joel 29, um, 28 through 29. Again, I want you to take this dream before the Lord. I believe it was so significant of the things that's going to happen because the Lord does not want anyone to go there. He is not willing for anyone to perish. So please, if you are a Christian, you have a calling to go out and to compel by the love of God and by the might of his spirit to compel them to come to him. He is not willing for them to perish. You are responsible if you do not warn. You don't have to have a fancy title. You just need to tell them for the reason of the hope of your glory in Christ Jesus. Let them know that they have a Savior, that they have someone that died for them, that they have someone that already knows everything they've ever done, and he died while they were yet sinners. They cannot clean themselves up and then come to him. They have to come to him to get clean. Preach that. Preach the truth. Preach his grace that is perpetual. The blood is a perpetual cleansing. In the name of Jesus. I beseech you to do so. Please don't walk past someone and they end up in hell because you wouldn't speak to them. Again, thank you for joining me today. And please stay tuned for the next dream and messages that are to follow. God bless you and grace be with you. Thank you for joining us today on Preach. Be a voice, not an echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.